I mean, we did a little without school today. We, we came in this morning and watched film and fed them and everybody's taking care of their bumps and bruises. Uh, I think everybody's anxious to practice. You know, we've got a Monday, Tuesday practice and then uh, it will be nice getting back to this environment. A whiteout on, on Wednesday night and uh, we've been getting some terrific home uh, attendance. They love, you know, the way the Huntsman stirred up and uh, some of the ghosts from the old days, I think, are floating around in the building and it's it's been fun, but being at home does not guarantee anything. You know, you look at Washington State, they've, they've won at Cal and they've won at their in-state rival Washington. So they've proven that they can take their show on the road and be competitive. Um, that's the great thing about sports, though, to answer your question, I think, assuming it's not the end of the year game that sends you packing as Arizona did last year, and then you get to kind of chew on that all summer. Uh, the great part about sports is you get a chance to jump back in the saddle again and, and, and do it uh, with a different set of challenges. But I think we've got a good group of guys. I, I could tell in the film session that everybody was kind of eager to get back after it again and, and try to get some of the bad taste out of their mouth. And they've won two road games more than anybody in our league, I believe. Um, uh, you know, Ernie's doing a great job with that team. They, they, uh, they're playing a little smaller maybe than most teams, three guards and, and a small four at times. Getting out, they scored well over 100 points the other night against Oregon. So they're, um, you know, Ernie's teams typically are high powered. They want to get out, and run, transition, and put some heat on you. Um, but they've got some young kids and and really buying into what it is. Uh, he's selling them there, and it is there. As I've always said, I think there's going to be a couple of surprises every year from the preseason predictions and a couple of maybe disappointments. And they're certainly at the top of the list with one of the teams, them in Oregon State probably as being two of the biggest surprises in our league. Duff, he's as solid as a kid as I've come around in a long time, really mature. Uh, we spent a lot of time off the basketball court together, kind of gravitated toward, toward each other. He was one of those guys that it stands for a lot of things we talk about in our program. It's really uh, outgoing and he was up in China. He was one of the favorites for everybody. He was setting an example and trying to represent not only himself, Washington State, our conference, our country over there, but he really, you can tell where he's a special kid, um, was great amongst our players and then he took a leadership role with our guys. And, uh, you know, not an ounce of selfishness in him, but just stands for, <clears throat> stands for a lot of the right stuff. And uh, he's having a tremendous senior year there at Washington State. He's got a lot of pride and, um, Terrific shooter, one of the leading scorers in our league, and we're going to have our hands full with him.